Hello awesome people, this is Jude from Awesome Health CG. Today we look at mats. Mats or masks are a type of a render pass that can be rendered with our beauty renders. They are generally super fast to render and can be really helpful once we start compositing or manipulating our beauty renders. They can save us a lot of time and re-rendering. Let's look at a quick usage scenario before we get into making them. If you already know what mats does, you can skip this part. Timestamps are in the description. Let's look at this uh, ice cube example. This is one of the ice cubes that I did in my previous tutes. If you want to check out how it's created, I'll put the link to that in the description. Let's say we want to change the color of these white streaks in the middle of the ice cube uh, to some other color. If you are not using mats, this has to be a re render to get these changes in. And it's going to take too much time. But I rendered the ice cube with these mats. What we want to do is now you can see you have red colors to the white streaks in the middle and green to the ice cube and blue to all the bubbles. So to change the color of the white streaks, we have to shuffle out the red color as a mask for the grade node. Like that so i'm shuffling out the red color onto this gray node as a mask now we can change the color to whatever the thing we want and it's still going to work even if there's animation in it let's make the bubbles another color as well in here you're shuffling out the blue as a mask onto this grade and it's and we're changing the color in the gray node let's check out how we can make some mats i'm going to use this simple scene to showcase how mats are created Let's say we want to make mats based on the objects in this scene. So let's start by first creating a new AOV. We'll minimize the render view and we'll open the render settings and we go to AOVs and from the available AOVs we look for puzzle mat and we double click on it so it adds that to active AOVs. We'll click on this uh, input icon to get to the attributes of the puzzle mat. So these are the attributes of the puzzle mats. Let's rename our first AOE to object ID set one. Okay, let's change the mode to object ID and put one, two, three for red, green, and blue. By doing this, you're telling this pass to assign red to any object that has the ID number red and green to any object that has number two and blue to number three. You can have more than one puzzle mat AOV depending on the number of objects you have in your scene. And you can have the same ID assigned to multiple objects. Uh, let's assign some IDs for our objects. Select the object you want to assign. Let's say I want to assign something to this part. We'll select the object and we go into the shape node. You select the shape node and you go to the redshift area and you can find the object ID right here. Let's assign one. Let's assign ID number two to this uh, dirt. You go to the you select the object you go to the shape node and change the id to two uh, we'll do the same thing to the bark of the tree you select that you go to the shape node redshift area object id three each puzzle mat can only have three ids for the three main colors red green and blue now we need to create another puzzle mat for the rest of the objects same process uh, double click on the puzzle mat i mean go to the options we are going to name it object ID set to we're going to put uh, four five and six in here and change the material ID to object ID let's add number four to our leaves we have a lot of leaves here so going into each object and adding an ID to it is time consuming so what we want to do is we want to assign an ID to this group so these are the leaves and this is the leaves group but the problem is if you select the leaves group you don't have a shape node in it so what we can do is we can select the leaves node and we can go to redshift object properties create redshift object id node for selection and it's going to create a node where you can change the object id for the group so you can put four here let's do a render and see what we have okay this is our render let's go in and see what we have on the object ids see we have the red for the pot, green for the dirt, and blue for the root, I mean the trunk. And the, the leaves are black because we have the leaves on the ID set too. Just like we add IDs for each object, you can also assign material IDs for different materials. So any object that has the, or using the material, 
will inherit its ID. Uh, let's use material ID to get the mats of our flow. This guy. Let's cre create a new puzzle mat. Go to its attributes. Let's name it to material ID set one. We don't have to change the mode because it's already in material. And uh, we'll put one, two, and three. Remember, this will not pick up the object IDs that we did before because the mode is set to material IDs. Let's assign a material ID to our flow first. Uh, to do that, we'll have to open the hypershader and graph our material. So this is the flow material. Let's minimize it so we can uh, see everything together. Okay. And in the flow material, if you select the shading group, you can see there's a red shift tab right here. You can set the ID right there, right here, material ID. So you're gonna set one here. Let's render this and see how it looks. So let's see what we have. We have object ID set one, which has these. Object ID set two, which have the leaves on it. And material ID set one, which has the flow on it, perfect. Now we have a mat for each object in the scene. Now we know something about making mats. Now let's make our scene a bit harder because I want to show you something uh, much nicer. Let's put a glass around our plant. So let's do a render and see what it looks like. You can see that because of the glass and some condensation on the glass, our plant is getting deformed by the glass. So ideally, all our mats should get deformed just like that from the refraction let's check out the mats and see what is, what's happening there now our mat setup is useless because the glass is blocking our plant redshift has an easy fix for this problem all we have to do is turn on reflect refract ids let's do that uh, open the render settings and go to our aov properties for object id and on the object id properties you can see there's a kick to turn on red reflect and reflect IDs. So we'll turn this on to for all three passes. Let's do a render and see what it's gonna look like. See, all we had to do was turn on the reflect, refract IDs, and we get a freaking awesome result right here. All the IDs are getting refracted and reflected as well. So we can go all crazy in comp. Let's jump into Nuke and see how we can put those AOVs to good use. So now I have brought in the renders uh, to Nuke and shuffled out the beauty and the uh, two object IDs, object set one and object set two. So let's start doing some tweaking here. Let's say if you, let's say we want to change the pot from a silvery look to a more of a golden color. So first, let's create a grade node. I just press G and I get a grade node connected to the beauty. So uh, yeah, now we want to find the correct object ID that let us select the pot. So let's check out the object ID one. I think it's object ID one. Yeah, so it's the object ID one and color red. So what I got to do is I got to connect the mask of the grade to object ID set one. And in the grade, I have to make sure I select the RGBA red. Now, if we look at the comp on the grade node, I'm gonna scale this up a bit. Yeah. I'm gonna click on the color wheel for the multiply. Look at that. We want to make it more of a golden color. Yeah. Uh, while we are at it. Oh yeah, a little side note. I'm shuffling these out. And connecting them back just to make sure it's visually clearer what, uh, to what's going on but in normal new usage you don't have to do it if you have rendered the if you have rendered a multi-channel exr that contains all the passes in a single exr file you just need to add a grade node oh wait grade node and connect it to the beauty and uh, on the grade node you can go to the mask uh, input list and know what's going on. Oh yeah, and you can just select the channel in it. 
this is much easier, but it's not very clear on to like what's going on in it. See, it's giving the same result if you look at it from this region. It's the same result. Uh, let's change the color of the leaves as well. Create a grade node. Connect it to, so we know the leaves are object ID 2, red color. So let's connect the mask of the second grade to object. And on the mask, let's select red. And in here, let's click on the color wheel and change the colors of the blue. Yeah, blue is nice. So yes. Yeah, blue color. So that's it for this dude. I hope you were able to learn something new from this. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future. Also, check out the playlist section of my channel. I have started to categorize and make a list of videos I find helpful on YouTube. Maybe you'll find it helpful as well.